Uh, Farah, it's very, very important not to abuse children. If you've been following my channel for a little while, you might know that uh, I've gone through different phases. I've done TV show reactions. I've done mental health footage reactions. I've done vlogs. I've done educational content. I go through these different phases, but my current phase is definitely music video reactions. And I've done a bunch of Ren. I've done Florence and the Machine. And I've done a song by the artist NF, whom I know very little about. I do not know if that was the right use of the word whom, but anyway, um, I've gotten so many comments by people who watched that video to do a song called Mansion, and uh, apparently it's very much about mental health issues. I mean, check out all these comments. Uh, Kevin Cortese, NF is a great song about mental issues. Great, let's do it. And then <laughs> Jake Swanson has uh, suggested that Mansion needs to be first with three asterisks. Um, more NF, yeah, mansion, mansion. It, it just keeps going. So thank you. I'll, I will heart all these comments. Um, I will uh, react to them. So thank you for all the comments. Keep the comments coming. Uh, comment down below what I should react to next. But without further ado, uh, let's get into it. If by any chance you're new here, my name is Dr. Sill. I'm a junior doctor from Australia training to become a psychiatrist. So I work on mental health uh, medical wards in hospitals, treating people with different mental illnesses, mostly schizophrenia, depression, and mania, but also things like emotionally unstable personalities or people in situational crises all sorts of things, a lot of people with complex trauma. And uh, I make mental health, mental health educational videos in my free time. If this kind of content sounds like your cup of tea, the best way you can support my channel is by subscribing to it and liking the video. I'm trying to get to 100K subscribers in the next two months and I'm at about 87K, so fingers crossed we can get there. Let's begin. All right, guys, so tricky situation. When I go to the NF's page, uh, his song Mansion is not actually a music video clip because there isn't a music video clip officially for this song. Uh, so I'm gonna use this lyric clip uh, by a different channel, but rest assured that the copyright goes to NF. So he makes the revenue from this video. That's how uh, copyright works on YouTube. Uh, but this is a lyric video, so we'll have lyrics. It'll be at least a bit more visually entertaining. Anyhow, I will give them both a like for the videos. And if you like this one, give mine, and I will definitely, I've already subscribed to NF. Let's go. Insidious is blind inception. What's reality with all these questions? Feels like I missed my alarm and slept in, slept in. Broken legs, but I chase perfection. These walls are my blank expression. My mind is a home I'm trapped in, and it's lonely inside this mansion. Yo, my mind is a house with walls covered in lyrics, they're all over the place. A song's in a mirror, it's written all over the floors. All over the chairs And you get the uncut version of life When I go downstairs I swear I'll write when I'm in a bad place And need to release And let out the version of NF You don't wanna see I put holes in the walls With both of my fists till they bleed And you might get a glimpse of how I cope With all this anger in me Physically abused Now that's the room that I don't wanna be in That picture ain't blurry at all I just don't wanna see it And these walls ain't blank I just think I don't wanna see them But why not? I'm in here so I might as well read them I gotta thank you for this anger that I carry around Wish I could take a match and burn this whole room to the ground Matter of fact, I think I'ma burn this room right now Somehow this memory for some reason just moved you and down Put me in the corner so you could see the fear in my eyes then Sorry, there's so much uh, content coming up so quickly that I, I, I gotta pause it The hardest part of these videos is pausing the, the music because songs are not meant to be paused midway So I don't know why I do these videos uh, Anyway pretty profoundly powerful start to any song uh, with themes of defense mechanisms, really. Like, you know, this kind of metaphor around he, he having this, this house of walls um, as a mechanism to contain this obvious uh, tricky 
childhood and trauma that he's carrying around. I think it's interesting how he talks about this anger that he carries and he's thanking you, whoever that is, maybe it's a caregiver of his, for it. And uh, then talks about how this house is covered in lyrics. So that defense mechanism, when you use the pain, anxiety, or anger from one thing to feed it into something else that's more adaptive, uh, like writing music, that's called sublimation. And it is considered a mature defense mechanism. It is a very healthy way to cope with stress and anxiety. When something is making you angry or stressed, irritable, uncomfortable, um, like your boss is giving you a hard time at work, punching your boss in the face is not a uh, healthy defense mechanism. That would be called acting out. That would be called a, a primitive or a, um, yeah, an immature defense mechanism. Uh, maladaptive maybe is a nicer word. So not adaptive, not, pr not promoting a good, a, a, good, a better life. But uh, sublimation, taking that anger uh, and putting it into something that's fruitful and builds and helps others, uh, that's sublimation and altruism which is what NF is doing with his music. It's a really interesting metaphor to talk about your mind as a mansion. And uh, often that is what it's kind of, that, that's a really good metaphor because people's trauma does get compartmentalized. And um, so much so that, it, you know, one of the common, well, it's not common, but one of the disorders you can see with someone who has had um, usually sexual childhood trauma which is horrible, uh, is dissociative identity disorder, where their their ego, their self, is so kind of fractured and separated into different rooms that they'll have different rooms for different personalities. So they'll have different personalities. Um, they'll have a happy person, a sad person, an angry person. This is all one human body, but it's the brain has been so split. Because, which result, like, I'm trying to link it to this metaphor of a mansion. The brain is split into so many different fundamental rooms that you can get literally different personalities. And uh, uh, that, that really happens commonly when a perpetrator of trauma is also the caregiver of trauma because a child cannot uh, make a... a a narrative that makes sense when someone who give, is giving you care is also someone who's perpetuating perpetuating trauma onto you. That doesn't make sense to a kid's mind. And so instead of seeing that caregiver as um, a person who is helping and hurting, uh, you know, having two different parts to them, they internalize the, the different parts as parts of themselves and they have different egos, the person that receives the trauma and the person that receives the care. Anyway, that's going to get into complex object relations theory if we keep going. So I'll stop there. But um, that's uh, a, a wonderful metaphor. Let's keep going. So you could see the fear in my eyes, then took me downstairs and beat me till I screamed and I cried. Congratulations, you'll always have a room in my mind. But I'm going to keep the door shut and lock the lyrics inside. Insidious is blind inception What's reality with all these questions? Feels like I missed my alarm and slept in Slept in, slept in, slept in. And slept in. Broken legs but I chase perfection These walls are my blank expression My mind is a home I'm trapped in And it's only inside this mansion Inside this mansion You're my mind uh, Farah, it's very, very important not to abuse children, you know, it's just f don't. Um, but I guess the, uh, often perpetrators of abuse to children have themselves been uh, abused. And there's this, there's something you have to understand about how we develop relationships. We uh, make new relationships based of, off of the previous relationships we have formed, right? And there's a thing called transference and counter-transference in therapy where, where a, a patient um, will, will see the therapist in kind of in the light of their previous relationships. Uh, so it might be that, you know, if it's a, a young patient and an older male therapist, they might see them as their dad um, and they will project their previous experience in this relationship onto the, onto the therapists. And that's content to explore in therapy. Why do I remind you of your dad? What, 
you know, what happened there. So if you've had a childhood riddled with trauma and high expressed emotions in the household, which is, you know, the language we used to say that there was a lot of fighting going on, um, that's what you internalize. And that's what you understand relationships are meant to be. Okay, you can't, you can't know anything else if, if that's all you've learned. And so the sad truth is that often people who have had traumatic childhoods will then find themselves in traumatic relationships. And continuing this theme of defense mechanisms in NF's lyrics, he's talking about how he has this room with, with the trauma that he closes, that he locks shut. And this is interesting because there's two defense mechanisms this could be a metaphor for. One defense mechanism is uh, suppression, which is when you take something that's painful that you're consciously aware of and you push it down for a little while with the understanding and view that it that it's there and it might come up again and you, you'll have to deal with it maybe later. So, for example, if I... Oh, this might be a common one. If I am in the middle of a surgery... If I'm performing a surgery, which I don't do anymore, I used to assist in surgeries, but not anymore. But it, it, this hasn't happened, by the way. This is an example. Just chill. <laughs> but if, if I cut an artery I shouldn't have cut and it's bleeding out, that will generate anxiety and distress. But I'm not going to go have a panic attack right now. I'm going to uh, keep you know, cool and, and follow the protocol, uh, I'm going to suppress that anxiety and anger and stay focused on how to solve the solution in front of me. That's suppression. And, you know, apply pressure, call the vascular team, yada, yada, yada. The next thing uh, that it could be relating to is not suppression, but repression, right? Repression is an unconscious defense mechanism, which is when you unconsciously put something out of your memory. And with repression, it'll be kind of, you know, a desire or a want that is in conflict with your values. So uh, saying you want to, I don't know, sleep with your boss or something uh, that might get repressed out unconsciously because that would be too conflicting and anxiety provoking to address. More relevant to someone like NF, it might be that you, you have memories um, of traumatic events in your childhood that are too difficult to, to allow to come up again. And so they get repressed. But this is the thing with PTSD and complex PTSD is, um, well, especially in PTSD, you get intrusive flashbacks. So it's more than a memory. It's a physiological state of being back in the traumatic event. Um, so if you're in a, a motor vehicle accident, like a, a car crash, uh, against your will, just getting thrown back into that state can cause a lot of panic. All right, let's keep going. House with walls, covered in pain. See, my problem is I don't fix things. I just try to repay, cover them up like it never happened. Say, I wish I could change. Are you confused? Come upstairs and I'll show you what I mean. This room's full of regrets. Just keeps getting fuller, it seems. The moment I walk into it's the same moment that I want to leave. I get sick to my stomach every time I look at these things. But it's hard to look past when this is the room where I sleep. I look around one of the worst things I wrote on these walls. Was the moment I realized that I was losing my mind. And one of the first things I wrote was I wish I would have called. But I should just stop now. We ain't got enough room in this song. And I regret the fact that I struggle trying to find who I am. And I lie to myself and say I do. That moment, you know, in, th in therapy or in a conversation with a friend where they're stopping themselves, you know, th that line was about how he was losing his mum. I don't know what happened to her. If anyone can answer these questions in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and that he wish he had called, but I should stop myself now because there's not enough room in the song. In therapy or in a conversation with a friend, which, by the way, conversations with a, friends, with a friend can be considered therapy, that's where you want to say, you can, you can tell me more, you know, go on, there's space here. Because what's happening there is a resistance that he's protecting himself um, by, by stopping the, the, the anxiety and pain and emotion that's caught up in going, in going through that line of thinking. But if you, in a safe and calm and kind way, give him the space, then it would be maybe cathartic for him to explore it. But if he doesn't want to, don't bloody push. All right. That's a very important lesson in all therapy. They're in charge. <laughs> you know, um, never challenge a defense mechanism if you don't have something better to put in its place and let people like it's always gentle. Everything's gentle. OK, that's something I, I'm learning. I 
regret watching these trust issues eat me alive. And at the rate I'm going, I'll probably still be there when I die. Congratulations, you'll always have a room in my mind. The question is, will I ever clean the walls off inside? So, trust issues, paranoia. You know, if you've been raised in a household with uh, a lot of disadvantage, uh, or parents who feel quite persecuted or have had a tough time, um, or if they've been involved in crime, it's, it's going to generate paranoid personality. That doesn't necessarily mean there's psychosis, okay? Yes, paranoid delusions are a common uh, element of psychosis, but having paranoid thinking doesn't necessarily mean psychosis at all. Uh, so, anyway, just a quick point around paranoia being a very common issue in people who have had traumatic childhoods and disadvantaged lives. Insidious is blind inception. What's reality with all these questions? Feels like I missed my alarm and slept in. And slept in. Slept in. And slept in. Broken legs, but I chase perfection. These walls are my blank expression. My mind is a home I'm trapped in. And it's only inside this mansion. So this part of my house, no one's been in it for years I built a safe room and I don't let no one in there Cause if I do, there's a chance that they might disappear And not come back, and I admit, I am emotionally scared To let anyone inside, so I just leave my doors locked You might get other doors to open up, but this door's not Cause I don't want you to have the opportunity to hurt me And I'll be the only person that I can blame when you desert me I'm barricaded inside, so stop watching years ago i let him in maybe that's a problem because i've been dealing with this ever since i thought that he would leave but it's obvious he never did he must have picked a room and got comfortable and settled in now i'm in a position it's either sit here and let him win or put him back outside where it came from but i never can because in order to do that i'd have to open the doors is that me or the fear talking i don't know anymore So continuing on with that metaphor, that um, that room, that deep seated pain that has so many defenses laid up on top of it and is so hard to access. Uh, you know, the only way to get there and process it is time and trust uh, and connection. But the problem is therapy is expensive. Right, it's very easy for me to say do psychodynamic therapy uh, once or twice a week for two years until you have a therapist you can really trust. Uh, that's over years, ten, oh, probably tens of thousands of dollars. So it's just, um, you know, not realistic. Really, friends and you know, sports coaches, uh, peers, family, these social connections are invaluable and if you look at people's outcomes after mental health adversity uh the difference between like having a supportive family versus having a great therapist family is more correlated with better outcomes than a good therapist so it just goes to show that there's nothing quite like social relationships and if, if you're struggling to f connect with family or, or maintain relationships with ships with family then you can do a bit of therapy to work on the relationships and then um and, and then strengthen those ties because it's it, you know life is hard and it's hard to get through it alone and it's and it's important to be able to be vulnerable and and connect with people at a deeper level I, i've often felt that the strength of a friendship is proportional to the amount of vulnerability that you can have in it the amount of openness you can have in it um so it's tricky that you know it's a really confronting song it's it's 
it, it, it reminds me of my defense mechanisms and how I kind of try and separate things out that are hard to process. Um, and I, I just, I feel very fortunate to have the social network I've got with friends because I do feel I can be very open about things I'm ashamed of. Um, and you know, what I would call quite difficult situations. So uh, I wonder what it brings up for you guys. If you're open to it, please leave a comment down below and share a bit of your story because people really love hearing it. And, and you can see in my comment sections to my videos, uh, when people share their story, people really interact and, and it's quite a beautiful thing. So I hope that continues. But other than that, I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. It's really a, a fantastic um, piece of art to talk about uh, defense mechanisms. But also, where is Ren and NF's collaboration? <laughs> that would be sick. I would love to watch uh, Ren and NF do a collaboration. They, they, they probably have a lot to talk about. Uh, anyway, that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.